God bless you. We're back into the word of God again. This is part two. I was in Matthew chapter number seven, where Jesus said, enter ye in at the straight gate. Verse 13, for wide is a gate and broad is a way that leadeth to destruction and many there be which go in thereat. Many are going the wrong way and going straight to hell. Sad. Look what Jesus said. Verse 14, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. Now look what Jesus said here. He said, and few there be that find it. Few people is going to take the right way. But he's saying here that many is going the wrong way. They chose to go that way. God never forced the Bible on nobody. He just gives you a choice. He presents his word. He's not going to force his word. So my job is to preach the word. It's like every other preacher's job is to preach God's word. Whether you're a missionary, your job is to pass out tracts. You know, we're not preaching for money. We're not doing it for money. Freely give and freely receive. Amen. My job is to live holy. My job is to live what I preach, not just preach. Amen. Praise the Lord. But people choose to go the wrong way. There's others, but very few would choose to go the right way. That's why Christ said here, and many there be which go in that they're at. They're talking about going the wrong way, going the broad way. 14, verse 14, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. St. John chapter 14, verse number 6. He said, in few there be that find it. You know, a lot of folk hear the gospel being preached and they allow the devil to talk to their mind saying, don't listen to that preacher. He don't know what he's talking about. He's crazy. But yet, when someone come along and they rapping all this violent rap music, oh, you ready to listen to him? He's rapping all these, all, all about violence, all these demonic lyrics. People are so quick to listen to the wrong thing instead of receiving the right thing. And the Bible said that the that the God of this world has blinded their mind. They were talking about the devil. When people are serving the devil, the devil become their God. So when they hear the word being preached, they get fizzy. They get mad because see, those are demons that don't want them to receive the truth. Amen. If they're hearing rap music or they're watching naked women on the Instagram or TikTok, it's not a problem to them. They'd rather go the wrong way. They'd rather watch these uh, violent movies um, in Hollywood that promotes violence and all this violent rap music. They ain't got a problem with that. The devil ain't going to fight you when you're going the wrong way because you know if you go the wrong way, going the wrong way, will lead you to hell. That's why Jesus said, broad is a way that lead us to destruction. And many, he said many, be which go in there at. Now watch this. Everything that Jesus said is right. Jesus does not make a mistake. It's impossible for him. It's impossible for him to make a mistake. I pray everything he said, he is right. No wonder he said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the Father but by me. Jesus even declared in St. John chapter 8, verse 32, he shall know the truth. I am the truth shall make you free. Now watch this. Verse 15. Beware of false prophets, which come to you in sheep clothing, but in we leave, they are raving wolves. I was called a false prophet before, but I was called a false prophet by false prophets. False prophets want to make the real. Now, I don't like to prefer myself as being a prophet. I was called a false prophet, but you... Listen to me. You never hear me say I'm a prophet. I'm preacher warrant. Now, if folk want to call me a prophet, then that's them. I can't control what people say. Praise Lord. I never profess myself to be a prophet. I'm, I'm preacher warrant. I'm, I'm just a down-to-earth young man that gets preaching God's word. But many times I was called a false prophet for casting out devils. One time, you know, I've been preaching the gospel since I was six years old. Praise the Lord. And started my first street meeting at the age of 12 years old in the streets of the Bronx and in Harlem. I was born in Harlem. And, and when God had me casting out devils at an early age, amen, there were some older preachers who got mad in church and got jealous because they saw how people was coming to my ministry because you got preachers who just in it to win a popularity contest. They they want to be the best preacher. 
There's too much contest going on in the churches. You know, they, who's the best church? And who's the best pastor? And who got the most members? You know, it's not about who know the Bible the most. Honey, I'm still learning. I can learn from you if you're going to give me the truth. Now, you're going to give me a lie. I'm going to tell you, and then that's a lie. But I'm still learning. You know, I ain't as sharp as I am. I'm humble enough to learn from somebody else who has wisdom. Because a wise man and a wise woman will listen to a wise man and a wise woman. Praise the Lord. Women can look up to older mothers. Amen. The Bible said God called the young because they're strong. He called the old because they know the way. But these were some jealous elders. Some of them guys call themselves apostles. Just as jealous. They was imposters and not apostles. False prophets. I'm getting mad because he saw miracles happening in the my ministry, and I was just a child. So they said, that couldn't be God. So they made up this lie about me and said, or oh, the reason why he cast out devils because he worked with devils. I'm not going to mention no names. Praise the Lord. But this is the experience I had. So I was called a false prophet. I was called a warlock for casting out devils. They say, I do witchcraft. So I said, well, how can Satan cast out Satan? And I couldn't understand at an early age how you had, you had these Jezebels and witches in the church. Choir directing and cooking food and chicken and putting stuff in the food. And I couldn't understand how these so-called missionaries, not to put them down, but a lot was witchinaries and not really missionaries. But at the time, I thought they was God's missionaries. Some were God's missionaries, but there was a whole lot of witchinaries as well as false prophets in the church. But these people who had all these titles and these degrees and I had all this education and graduated from Bible University didn't have the discernment to even detect that there was a witch in their pulpit. There was witches and warlocks in the choir. I had no discernment, but yet when God was using me, all of a sudden now, he's a false prophet for casting out devils. And the Lord told me, he said, these are modern day scribes and Pharisees who only had a form of godliness, but denying the power. So when you preach the truth, hypocrites who want to be a hypocrite don't want the truth. Because they've been assigned by the devil to lead people into a lie. So what did Jesus say here in the book of uh, uh, St. Matthew chapter number 7 verse 15? He said, beware. Someone said, beware of false prophets. Which come to you in sheep clothing, but inwardly they are as raven wolves. Now this is how you know a real man of God or a real woman of God. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Mm, I'm read that part. I'm, let me read it slower. Ye shall know them by their fruits. This is how you know a true man of God, a woman of God, a true prophet. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes or thorns or figs or thistles? Every, even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. I'm reading from Matthew chapter number 7. Go to verse 18. It is the words of Jesus. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewed down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits, ye shall know them. This is how you know a child of God. Go to Galatians chapter number 5 verse 22. Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 talks about the fruits of the Spirit. Now the first fruits of the Spirit is love. Jesus said by this all men will know you my disciples if you have love one for another. So if a man to my he a priest and he child molesting little boys and little girls up in the church, that ain't God's priest. That's the devil's priest. God will never tell a man of God to molest the child. He'll tell a true man of God to bless the child. They're not bearing fruits. God would never tell a prophet to tell women to take their clothes off and, 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 and drop their panties in the church. And women so blind and so stupid. I don't like to use the word stupid, but I'm like, how, how you're blind. I, they must have put you on the spell. How can you drop your panties for your pastor? The only one who you, only one you should be dropping your panties for is your husband. The only one the husband should be taking his clothes off for is his wife behind closed doors, not for your pastor. It is a seducing spirit. These are false prophets who are not bearing fruits, but they're leading you the wrong way. They're leading you the broad way and not the right way. Beware. Beware.